what's up guys welcome back once again it is me molt so happy to be here with you guys today i hope that y'all are enjoying the uploads every 12 hours guys that's how i've been scheduling it uh so you get two a day if y'all are enjoying that throw a like down below and let me know um it, it's taking a lot more work obviously because i'm doing twice as much work <laughs> But anyways, that's for you guys. I hope that y'all are enjoying it. Again, if you are, let me know down below. Um, but today, what we're doing right now is something that we used to do. I used to show raids from my clan members. So I am in Divine 9, as you can see right there. Uh, my clan with all Town Hall 9 members except for me until I hit Town Hall 9. Uh, we're getting paired up against some pretty crazy uh, clan wars so far. Like the one we're in now, look at this. I think there's 200. I think there's 22. Um, look at this, guys. There's 22... Town Hall 10s, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. There are 30 Town Hall 10s against all of us Town Hall 9s, so we're like, eh, what's going on there? But today I'm going to show you guys a couple of raids, some awesome crazy loot raids. The last raid in the video um, is going to be over a million loot by um, someone in the clan, so freaking stoked about that, but let's go ahead and jump into the first raid, aight? Alright guys, so here's the first raid right here. Look at this. This is over 700,000 by Texas Army Cash Money Ching Ching Divine 9. There we go. He's going up against Zion Is uh, with max loons and some max spells. His minions aren't maxed yet, but it doesn't affect him because he's coming after this guy. Is this a Town Hall 8? Wow! And he's a Town Hall 9. Imagine if this was... Um, that's a lot of loot. That is a lot of loot if i was going up against that it'd probably be in the 400s which is freaking ridiculous so he's coming in already using a bunch of his heal spells because of those wizards up there uh, but it's okay because the balloons split up right there which is exactly what he wanted to happen whenever your loons stick together too much it's not good you need them to split up and and start working hard on taking out some defenses so his loons are heading down over there taking out those teslas now they're gonna head for the archer tower Drops off another Rage Spell right there as these last little loons are working together. And you can see that that Wizard Tower, guys, has taken out so many of those loons from that splash damage. Wizard Towers are the enemy of loons. So you got to be really, really careful when it comes to dealing with them. But you can see that that last air defense right there is uh, almost down. It is almost down from those minions firing on it. Um, now these loons are coming in and the splash damage from the loons, I think, is what ends up taking out. Yep, to, is what ends up taking out that air defense. So that was awesome. Uh, everything's done now watch these loons they take that 80,000 uh, 85,000 gold in just two drops of their bombs they're freaking crushing it freaking crushing it so the rest of the attack guys they're just gonna head around finish their little thing and go to town that was a great raid by Texas Army awesome raid dude freaking great work 760,000 loot yes please let's go ahead and jump into the next one all right guys so this is one of my attacks that I got recently with Barch Woo, Mr. AAA Triple A, what, <laughs> what are you doing over there? What, what's with that name? All right, so we're heading in collector raid, guys. Freaking, let me know down below how much you love collector raids, all right? Because collector raids are so much fun. They're just so easy. Like, it's so easy to steal all this guy's loot. Look, we already got almost all the gold. All that's left is this elixir up at the top that our archers are taking out, and it's just a great find. Gold 2 right now is clutch. It doesn't take me that long to find a raid with over four or 500,000 resources. Uh, it, it takes like five minutes, that's all. So I just search probably 10, 15 times, uh, maybe a little more sometimes, maybe a little less. And you can find a great, great raid. So I've been loving Barch. Some of you guys have been telling me to throw in Giants, all this kind of stuff. Uh, that isn't necessarily Barch um, because it's not Barbarians and Archers. But I am probably going to start using Giants more, especially once I upgrade them because uh, Giants are beast. Giants are beasts, and y'all are going to see that in the last video in this, so definitely stick around for that million-plus raid, guys. But as you can see, we've already gotten almost all the loot from this base. We could have dropped our king off, and he could have very easily gotten in here and taken out a bunch of stuff, uh, because those mortars wouldn't have done that much damage to him. Uh, if he had gone in towards the resources, then we would have been just fine. But as you can see right there, that's five 600,000 in loot guys that's what I'm talking about I need it I need that loot I freaking need that loot so that I can get to Town Hall 9 and be fully full <laughs> in resources so look at that 320,000 or 3 million 200,000 gold so far guys and then uh, 400 and 4 million 342,000 elixir so we're pushing up we are pushing up and we only have seven days six hours left so I bet you we're gonna be full we're gonna be full before and that's gonna be my challenge right my challenge is gonna be to be full of my resources before we get there 
and probably do one more troll base or something like that like with one attack so I don't want to lose too much gold but let's go ahead and jump into the last raid guys that is freaking epic all right all right guys we are back with this epic raid look at that 613 guys and 482 with 1800 dark elixir now I had to record this one earlier before it got lost in the messages so I'm watching it on the screen right now but Christopher from my clan divine nine comes in after Trenton from nemesis yeah well Trenton you got a new nemesis and that's Christopher, because he's stealing all your loot. So he's coming in with all these giants, guys, and he doesn't even drop down the majority of his barks. Like, his, his barbarians and archers just kind of hang out. He's going to use his spells, and his giants are literally just going to run around this base and absolutely annihilate it. Like, I, I can't wait for... It's just crazy how long giants stay alive, guys. I need to start using giants again. I used to use them all the time. Giants were my jam. Giants were my jam. Um, and they're just beasts. I mean, th the health that they have, and they aren't even maxed. They aren't even maxed. They're level 6. Level 6 Giants used to be the max before the last ones came out, obviously. Um, and they were gnarly. Anytime that you would see somebody with those, you're like, okay, great. It's going to take forever for this thing to die. So, Christopher has three heal spells, uh, which is smart. I think that that's a really, really good way to... Um, go about it instead of using a healer because the air defenses are going to take it out. Like, Giant Healer, I think it's changed a lot uh, since back in the day, like two years ago. I used to use Giant Healer all the time. I don't use it that much anymore. But Christopher is using Giant Heal Spell, and it's flawless. Look, guys, he still has over 46 troops just hanging out. He hasn't even dropped them yet. <laughs> He's got a minute and 25 seconds. Uh, his other troops are just hanging out in the army camp. They're like, please, please, we want to attack too. Come on. But he's not letting them attack yet because the giants are working their way around, uh, doing some serious magic on this base and just completely destroying everything. I mean, they're, look at that. It took him two seconds to take out that wizard tower. So he's got one more heal spell. Uh, he's going to drop it right there where the giants are going, which is what you want to do. Um, he didn't drop it the, on them. He dropped it where they were going and to the defenses that he was gonna that they were going to be at for a while. So these giants are going to stay in that heal spell the entire time once they get into this wall um, until they head for that mortar and it goes away. But, I mean, that got them all up to full health. They have nothing to worry about. They're going to town right now. Um, he still has 40 troops that he hasn't dropped off yet, which is so funny to me. The giants just completely wrecked this base. They completely annihilated it. Um, and he's taking all the loot. So there's 40,000 40, elixir left, um, and it looks like it's in that pump right there. And then there's 500 dark elixir left, which those archers are getting right there. And then that's pretty much it. I mean, he cleaned up. He cleaned up. Christopher, grats, dude. That's a freaking awesome raid. So he just dropped off 10 archers. You can see they disappeared from the bottom on that town hall just to finish taking it out. And he's walking away with 31 troops that he didn't even have to, have to use and over 1.1 million in resources, guys. That's what I'm talking about. That's a freaking great raid. Show Christopher some love down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.